So now we're going to do a step-by-step -step build of the PNP bipolar junction transistor. I'm using the 2N3906 right here as an emitter follower. So first let's look at the uh, signal. Just going to tack this up here for a little bit right there. And we're going to use a trim pot as you can see right there. So trim pot, you can set whatever voltage you want based on the voltage across it all the way up in this case to the positive supply or down to the negative supply or halfway put halfway that's 2.5 volts and so on you can go anywhere along that range so I usually like to uh, put where these little divots are um, to where the uh, red or the uh, orange and the gray jumper are so that's the start of the resistive element and then it goes around to the other pin down there resistive element the wiper is the middle pin right there something to be aware of and then uh, we will uh, plug it in right there and I think I put it backward. No, that's the right way. Okay. I'm looking through the camera. It's a little hard to see um, the component. A little harder to see than in person. So there we go. That's our signal. We're going to output it there. So we're going in the opposite direction of the schematic just because of the length of these jumpers. No big deal. Now we're back to the 2N3906. So if it starts with 2N and it's a bipolar junction transistor, whether PNP or NPN, I find that the layout is emitter to the left, base in the middle, collector on the right. If you're looking at the front, the flat edge, which has the part number. So we're gonna put the emitter towards the positive supply. So I'm gonna swivel it that way. Now the emitter is up higher and uh, the collector is going to ground right there, as you can see. So I already got a jumper uh, set there. I'm gonna put this a little closer to uh, that jumper right there. Now, all we need is a pull-up resistor right there that gets our emitter to the positive supply and um, for whatever reason I used a relatively low uh, resistor right there so um, that helps transfer a signal in uh, many cases so but it definitely establishes a voltage at the emitter especially if you have no load at all and um, so you definitely want that if there's no load I'm gonna actually add a load to this so I'm gonna light an LED because otherwise you can't really see anything that is happening and um, actually I'm gonna move this over one more spot right there and uh, gonna take the LED and put it uh, cathode to where the resistor is and uh, we got to complete the circuit with the protective resistor so longly the anode is headed towards the positive supply it's gonna go through this 220 ohm resistor right there so that we can get uh, you know a fair amount of current I have the power turned off by the way so I'm aiming through the uh, camera so my aim uh, could be a little bit off especially when I'm farther away closing it so yeah um, there we go we're going to the positive supply so this is the opposite wiring of the NPN which I did over there so whatever circuits you can make with the NPN you can make with the PNP but polarities are opposite so in the way our ground is uh, the positive supply right there that's uh, uh, five volts more negative than what we got up there that's one way to think of it but uh, usually uh, negative supply is ground and then positive supply is uh, whatever the voltage is above that so five volts above zero volts is what it's telling us now the power is off I'm gonna turn the power on and um, the LED is off because we are to the positive supply with the trim pot one thing to remember Whatever uh, voltage we set here, so it's 5 volts, that's the limit we can do. If I set it to 4.4 uh, volts, then our output there is probably still 5 volts being, being held up. And that resistor is off a spot, so the LED would not be lit up anyways. Something, uh, the LED don't light up. First thing you do, check your wiring, make sure the LED is in the right way. So, that's not the problem now. We need to drop about uh, 2.6 volts less than what the positive supply voltage is before current uh, really starts flowing through that LED. I can dim this so it looks a little bit brighter. There we go. But uh, we lower the voltage even more because remember, that's to the positive five volts right there. So the closer we get this down, the closer we get it to 0.6 volts, which is the maximum uh, voltage difference we can get across there. You know, maybe it's four, uh, 0.7, but it's uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 or so. Not to the emitter, um, or to the uh, base, I mean, of the transistor. The trim pot, we got zero volts. 
but uh, up at the emitter is probably about 0.6 volts. That's 5 volts. So I got about a 4.4 volt difference. So now I turn the power off to move those jumpers out of the way so that we can see down here a little bit better. And now it's uh, back on. We got the trim pot down there. So we got our maximum voltage difference we can get above that LED, which is the lowest voltage we can set at the emitter, about 0.6 volts higher than uh, ground, whatever uh, we set with the trim pot. It's best to uh, measure those voltages yourself with a multimeter. This is auto ranging. All I have to do is set it for V for voltage. I don't have to move the red probe with this meter for anything than high current right there. So don't have to move it at all for this video. And to make the measurements easier, I'm going to take these alligator clips, which I crimped. I just used uh, these pliers um, over here to uh, squeeze the... Uh, alligator clip uh, parts to the other end of one of these right there so it uh, works pretty well but in any case first I will clip that to the probe right there and we're gonna start off measuring our voltages in ground even though the voltage difference across the LED will always be in relationship to the positive supply right there so that happens from time to time um, where the most negative part of the circuit may not uh, be ground um, so you got to declare where ground is going to be. So yeah, first uh, we'll look at this base voltage. So again, zero volts right there. And um, I'm surprised it's all the way to zero volts. Um, that seems a little fishy, but there you can see it's going up as I turn the trim pot up. So we got uh, our variable voltage right there, all the way up to five volts. And then uh, now you can see, we're going to turn it down until a little bit before the LED lights up. So. About 2.6 volts, we got a little bit of a glow. I'm going to uh, lower it a little bit more. Let's lower it to two. So we got a uh, fair glow right there. So this is uh, two volts up here. It's gonna be about uh, 2.6 volts right there. That's uh, what we will expect to see. And uh, going up to the emitter of the PNP bipolar junction transistor. There you can see, so it's a little more than 2.6. That wasn't meant to be exact. It should be about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts higher right there. Um, be aware of that. But in any case, that's in relationship to the positive supply right there. But whatever we set the trim pot to, it's going to be about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts higher at the emitter. So we established that. Now, we're going to go across. This is the supply voltage right there, 5 volts, just like when we put the trim pot all the way up. Now we're going to bring our negative, or our black I should say, probe it's a blue jumper over to there and there you can see we got a little more than two volts as we said before and again I'm gonna go all the way down to or let's go all the way up to the positive supply because that's in relationship to the positive supply so there's no voltage difference the LED is off and uh, we're measuring the black probe there to the emitter now I'm gonna lower it now you see it goes up a bit but the LED is not gonna light up I'm gonna dim the lamp until we get about two volts difference across it and it's not exact two volts um, but in that range and uh, get a slight glow below about two volts and then it'll start uh, rapidly rising as uh, we get above uh, two volts difference across both the LED and the resistor there but there you can see I turned the trim pot all the way to the negative supply and um, so we should have five volt difference but there is that emitter to base uh, drop, voltage drop right there, where we're going to lose about 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Looks like it's about 0 0.7 uh, volts right now. So if that's confusing, we got uh, the black probe uh, where that is. Now we'll move that to ground and look at the other uh, voltage. We will have about 0 0.6 volts, maybe 0 0.7 volts higher at the emitter right there. And um, I moved the wrong... I moved the wrong jumper, so yeah, that uh, that's very bad. Okay, I want to move the uh, jumper for the multimeter. So I got current limited from the power supply. If I accidentally shorted something or whatever, it would have just turned off. But yeah, there you can see, 0 0.7 volt difference um, at the emitter in relationship to ground when I put the trim pot all the way down. The base is going to be zero volts. So again, this is stuff you should measure. 
for yourself um, when you're not trying to film it you know the probes uh, will fit in okay um, try not to short any components though with the same probe you know don't touch that to a positive part of the circuit and then a different part of the probe to a negative part of the circuit that would be a short circuit again I have the power supply uh, limiting current to 20 milliamps so just in case I accidentally short something it is uh, 5 volts and that's how much uh, uh, current we got through the entire circuit um, if uh, we try to exceed 20 milliamps of current this will limit that uh, current and the way that it does so is it will lower the voltage that it provides as needed to do so but if it notices a direct connection from positive supply it will actually turn off it'll cut power to the entire circuit so when you're done with the, uh, the with the uh, multimeter make sure to turn it off if it has a current uh, setting like a on off power button get it off of measuring current as uh, quick as possible because main way you can damage a, a, you mostly a fuse with these multimeters is to accidentally measure current when you don't mean to accidentally measuring a voltage when you don't mean to uh, won't damage anything uh, that's perfectly safe so in any case a uh, long video hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos i post on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video